Whoa, welcome, 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 welcome to Wrestle Cram. This is your boy, your host with the most, but humble. But I do mean humble, D Nostra Novice. And I am here with episode five of my two cent, where I talk about off the rip things that are, you know, uh, personal to me, but, you know, to you as well, you know. Put, put your comments in. Make sure you, um, you know, give me the love and, you know, just have a little debate or whatnot. I don't mind debating. I love debating, as a matter of fact. Um, but before you do all that, watch the show. If you like the show, hit give me a thumbs up. If you like the show above liking, give me a sub. If you like it above and beyond, then awesomeness of awesome is where that atmosphere is uh, so rich with nice, awesome cola that doesn't give you cancer. Uh, give me a notification. Make sure I do five shows, five shows every single week. Uh, my core shows every single week. Um, I should put that in there. Um, but other than that, um, let's, let's get into it. My two, my two cent is about, uh, I talked about, um, on my very first episode of the Dirt Sheet Roundup. Where Ric Flair, 70 plus years old, is uh, lacing up his boots and going back into the wrestling business uh, one more time or two more times. We don't know. But as of right now, there is a match that he is having in um, Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee, uh, where he's going to wrestle. Uh, there was a uh, video of him and Jay Lethal training, and apparently it's gonna be uh, a triple, a trip of the three man tag with him and FTR against the Freebirds, um, which are another old group, an uh, elderly group. But um, but the, that that's what that's where it's gonna happen or whatnot. And and here's here's where it gets just incredibly weird because what I was doing uh, to look at things and, and just check stuff out um, number one uh, I am a comedian okay um, and I don't do a lot of uh, uh, jokes as of yet but I do have bits where I tell you I loathe elderly people I am not a fan of elderly people um, but I don't want them to die early I myself, I want to live at least to be 85 or whatnot. You know, after 90, just put a bullet in my head. But um, other than that, you know, I, I want you to have a full, healthy, and, you know, sustainable life or whatnot. Here's the thing. Or what, um, I go to the gym um, every weekday or whatnot. I go every weekday. Uh, I am 35 and I am in okay health. I, I I I mean I have little aches and stuff, but through it all, I don't have any diseases. I don't have any aches. I don't have any. I don't even think I had a broken bone in my entire life. But I do know. I don't even have to be a doctor to let you know this. Okay, when you are a young person and you are doing something uh, physically, and you know you can feel it. It's it after a day or so. It's going to get better because your body knows how to jump back from the activities or the workouts or anything, even wrestling or whatnot. You know that your body's going to jump back from it. I have seen even the youngest of wrestlers uh, having really bad pains after a wrestling match. And this is just 15 minutes. That's a long match. 15 minutes is a long match. So... Uh, a, a normal match is like, you know, seven minutes, give or take. So you have a person that's over 70. Uh, let's not even talk about um, Ric Flair. Let's talk about Moolah and, and, and uh, you know, taking power bombs by uh, the Dudleys. Why is this happening? That should not happen. We know that it, it takes a while to back to jump back from from these these uh athletic uh uh 
activities that you do. Okay, another thing that truly uh, I caught, I think it was last week, where Veer and Jerry the King Lawler were in the ring. And Jerry, he still wrestles as well. Uh, why? I don't know. Here's the thing. A lot of wrestlers that are elderly, especially like a Doola the Butcher and all those people, uh, they have no money. They have no money, and the company pretty much screwed them. I don't understand why the wrestling organization, even though I'm not a fan of the NFL, but the NFL still takes care of their retired. I don't know if the, if the wrestling business have some type of incentive where they take care of their retired after they put so much uh, blood, sweat, and tears, and pain, lost so, you know, missed so many birthdays, weddings, you name it. I don't know why the companies don't have some type of, of, of money held back to help them take care of themselves. So they have to go back and they have to wrestle. Pointless. This is crazy or whatnot. My mother is 72 and she works. I get mad every time she goes to work. She doesn't have to go to work. She has the money or whatnot. But she does it because, you know, this is another thing. She does it because she doesn't want to, you know, stop. She thinks that if she stops that, you know, she's going to get more sick and she's going to be stuck in her ways and uh, you die. Don't believe that at all. That's where hobbies come into place or whatnot. I will tell you this, and I'm going to talk about it eventually as well. Independent, uh, 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 it, is it called independent workers? I think it's called independent agents or whatnot. That's what they're called. Okay, if they're independent agents, then they should be able to go to different places and wrestle for different companies. That's just the truth. It's, it's crazy that you have so many of these elderly people coming out of retirement because they're broke or they need something and, and they just don't provide that type of stability that I put into the business or whatnot. It's crazy. It shouldn't happen. Elderly people should be retired. They should stay retired. And they should live their lives. I mean, if you look at Ric Flair, before everything happened, he almost died. He almost died two years ago. He was on hospice care. And now he wants to wrestle. Trust me, I don't want to see that. And a lot of y'all truly don't want to see that. I mean... This, I mean, I've seen, I've seen the video. The video looks bad. You can say, oh, he's, uh, he's good. No, it looks bad. Jay Lethal, I respect you times 12 for trying to get him back into the ring, try to condition him, get him back in the ring. But no, no, we need to stop this. We need to nip it in the bud. Let the legends be legends. Come on to the show. Do what they got to do. Let's not have them take bumps. It is crazy to me that we are seeing this. Have a legend, have a real true Legends Day. Hulk Hogan, I mean, that Hulk Hogan had both hips replaced. I think the Undertaker has both hips replaced. Kurt Angle just had surgery on both of his knees. It's going to take him a long time to recover. Let legends be legends. One of the greatest coaches of all time, Bill Cowher, he said it perfectly. Let players play and coaches coach. If you are retired, stay retired. But I might be wrong. You might like elderly people getting their arms broken and having it broke for 12 years. Maybe you like, you know, uh, Ric Flair and his awesome takes as uh doesn't he doesn't I mean his brain is probably scrambled so he's just ranting. Maybe I'm wrong. 
Maybe I'm wrong. If I'm wrong, hit the comments up. Show me some love. Give me a like. Share. Subscribe. Um, other than that, uh, I have a couple of more shows for you. I have the AEW, uh, the AEW Double or Nothing prediction is up. I have the AEW uh, Double or Nothing show coming out on Sunday. And Friday, we have SmackDown and we have Rampage. Until then, y'all, love, peace, and of course, wrestling.